What's going on guys, Spencer here with HL Massage, and today I'm going to show you how I like to work the calf and lower leg. I think the calves are an area that gets brushed over a lot and doesn't get the deep, proper work that it needs in order to get the release. So I'm going to show you how I like to go about releasing the calves and lower legs, so hopefully you guys can pick up some of these techniques and use them yourself. So I'm just starting off by warming up the whole posterior leg, starting with the calf but also working up into the hamstring and working down into the foot. And I usually always start with petrissage, which is that lifting, squeezing motion on the calves, but also encompassing the entire back of the leg in the long Swedish flowing strokes. This is all just a warm up before we get into the deeper pressure. I'll come down and work the foot a bit just to let the client know that they are gonna get their footwork done. A lot of clients are worried they might not get a lot of footwork. So by doing a few strokes there, you'll calm their worries about not getting footwork done and make sure that they feel completely taken care of. Slide back up onto the calf. And this is where I'm going to start incorporating once again the petrissage, that lifting movement. But I'll start to integrate my knuckle in there, running it right up the middle of the calf. Although we only have one Achilles tendon on the calf, the gastroc soleus muscle does split off into two different heads. So by running our knuckle right up the middle of the calf, it's going to get that initial separation to the muscle which really helps to get things underway. As we warm up with the knuckle, we're giving a nice broad pressure and we're going slow. Nothing too crazy fast yet. And then I'll switch it into using the pinky side of my hand, my pisiform muscle, and run that right up the calf as well. All of this is just allowing the two heads of the gastroc soleus to start to separate so that we can then go in from different angles on each head and make sure they're properly getting worked and that every inch of the muscle fibers are getting worked. We're not leaving anything behind. Keep warming up like this for a few more minutes before we get into the first deep stroke. And here is where we're gonna start using our angles. So I like to use my knuckles, but anything to get a deeper pressure. And you're gonna come from the inside of their leg, pressing into the calf. This is working the gastrox, but also sweeping under the gastrox to get to the soleus muscle, which is the primary mover of the calves. The gastrocnemius gets all the fame, but the soleus is doing all the work. So you have to make sure to work under the gastrox, which lie on top, in order to get at those deep knots and the deep trigger points of the soleus. To do this, I like to work my knuckle from the inside, and then switch to the outside and work the peroneals as well. And the peroneals, or fibularis muscles, are long, thin muscles that run up and down the outside of our calf, and these are all gonna be very ropey and tight. Do not strum across them, but try and work them vertically, up and down, the direction that they run in. It never feels good to strum across muscles, and I'll find a lot of therapists pop off these easily because they are so tight. So just make sure to try your best to stay on the muscle and let it run its course with your pressure. And at any time, feel free to go back and work the middle of the gastroc soleus as their tension seems fit or where you need to go. All just doing in a smooth transition phase, making sure to never lift your hands off of the calves. Maintain that contact.
You can also throw in some friction circles or a little bit more specific work and specific holds as the muscles let go, as they let you through to those deeper layers, and as you find that deep hidden tension. Feel free to stick around more times where it feels stickier or tighter. And now on to one of my favorite ways to work the calf. I often say don't use your thumbs too much, but it is okay occasionally, so I'll run the thumbs, stack them of course, up the middle of the gastroxoleus muscle, and then I'll bend the client's leg and put their ankle on my shoulder so that their leg is able to rest, and from there I'll be able to manipulate and start to lift, squeeze, and work their gastroxoleus from all different angles while their leg is relaxed. This allows me to not only get some very good side angles that can penetrate deeper than the gastroxoleus, but it allows me to use all of my fingertips in both hands to manipulate the medial aspect of the gastroc and soleus and the lateral aspect being the peroneals. So you can really get every different angle and hit the muscles from every different inch. And then I love to finish off with an awesome pin and stretch. So holding and supporting their ankle, I will pinch right at the Achilles tendon and then pull their foot downward. Let go of the pinch, bring their ankle back up, and then move down, pinch again, and then push their foot downward again. Repeat this motion up and down the entirety of the calf, and you'll get not only a really great pin and stretch, but some really awesome flexibility and release for the client. From there, you can work into the feet to finish off or end the massage there. Either way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.